I'm gonna show you how to properly tie a knot in three easy steps. We'll use this black silk, take the two ends. This end has to go over the top of this end so it creates a hole. This end now goes through the hole, comes out the other side, so you can grab both ends and I think I missed a step. Three steps, one, two, three, voila. Wait. Let's use this white one and we can see a little better. How to properly tie a knot in three easy steps. Take the two ends. This end has to go over the top of this end so it creates a hole. This end now goes through the hole, comes out the other side, so you can grab both ends and... Let me, let me turn it this way. Three steps. One, two, three, voila. One, two, three, voila. There it is. I hope you enjoyed that. This is a super easy trick to perform. It looks amazing. You can learn this in about five minutes of practice and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But first, I wanna say thank you to everyone. Last month, this channel passed 50,000 subscribers. To show my appreciation, I'm giving away three brand new decks of Archangels playing cards by Theory11. To win one of these beautiful decks of cards, first, you have to be a subscriber of this channel. Then leave a comment on this video and include the word angel in your comment. You can't just type angel, it needs to be formed into some sort of a sentence. Also, I know most of you know the difference, but for those who don't, this is an angel. Angles, angel. Well, it's a statue of one anyway. What? I'll probably choose one of the best comments as a winner, then have a random draw for the remaining two winners. We'll see what happens. The three winners will be announced in the next video. Also, after the tutorial, the last three minutes of this video is a collage of clips from some of my past videos. Whether you're new to this channel or not, I hope you stick around to watch. Okay, so this is how you do the knot trick. This will probably be the shortest tutorial I'll ever give. This was taught to me years ago by my grandfather and I'll show you how to do it. Start with one end in each hand. Notice the grip I have in this hand is with it's clipped between my index finger and my middle finger. And in this hand, it's between my index finger and thumb. Take this end, go over the top, grab it with your thumb and let go. It creates the hole. This end really does go through the hole and come back the other side. But notice my index finger comes out and clips it there. So this is an end and this is an end. And if I turn it around backwards, you can see it's wrapped around my finger. So when you pull these ends, you're only going to pull this end. You're going to let go here and pull where you've clipped between these two fingers and you pull it out fast. So one more time, clipped between these two fingers and held in this, in this hand like this. This end goes over the top. This end goes through the hole, comes back around, but pull your index finger out. So now you clip like that and keep that in the back. So when, it, when you pull it, you let go here and hold here and you end up in the same position that you started. What's cool about this is you can either make a knot for real or not make a knot. Yeah. This end goes over the top. This end goes through the hole, comes back around as your index finger comes out and clips right there. At this point, you can either do a knot or not do a knot. If you want to do the knot, you pull this end and pull this end and it creates the knot. If not, you let go here and you pull with your the clip that you have right here. So that's not a knot. And this is a knot. So you can have your spectator 
try to guess if it's a knot or whether it isn't a knot. And you can either do the opposite of whatever they say, so they're always wrong, or you can have them predict what you're doing. You can also use a bandana. It'll cost you a whole dollar at the dollar store. And there you go. And that's how you do that. Stick around for the final clip. I hope you enjoy it. Humanity. 